at River Park, we have a whole range of activities. We teach fishing, we teach paddling, um, we teach people about the environment and tell the story of the Chicago River. A lot of people don't realize that the Chicago River is actually the reason that the city is here. And we try to tell stories about the history of the river, um, its restoration, its kind of comeback. The restoration at River Park uh, has just happened within the past 10 years or so. Before the restoration work happened, people said don't go by the river, it's dangerous. They said that it was scary. People messed up the land a little bit. The shorelines and the banks of the river here were almost inaccessible uh, to, to people and also to a lot of wildlife. But now you can see there's uh, tons of people using the trails, sitting and just enjoying the, the riverfront. And here specifically at River Park, there was a, a dam that was about four feet high fish could not get through, so it was just basically the end of where fish can uh, can reach the river going northwest from this point. Um, and the dam was removed uh, recently, just in the past couple years, and the fish are now able to go farther up the river and the diversity um, has improved within the river. And then the shoreline along this area has been restored with a lot of native vegetation. Beforehand, it was covered with invasive species and really weedy um, and invasive trees and now it has been replanted with native vegetation and flowers and grasses. I think it's been about five years since the project began, um, but that's not the end of it at all. So it's still very much a work in progress, um, but it will improve over time. Some of the activities that happen here are invasive species removal, um, planting additional native plants, tons of river cleanup so you can get out in a canoe and um, help clean up the river and also uh, manage our natural areas. The River Lab is a space for the community and people of Chicago to learn about the Chicago River. Uh, we've created a mini nature center actually out of a, um, it was an old hot dog stand. Activities that people will find when they come and visit us are of course our fish tank, uh, which models both the fish and kind of the regenerative uh, work of our wetlands. We have water quality testing, we've got microscopes, we've got a stream table so we can learn about how river currents flow and it's all hands on. It's really an incredible space to, to enjoy and to interact with, uh, and I'd like everybody to have a chance to come out and, and really see that. The Chicago Park District has almost 2,000 acres of natural areas with savannas, wetlands, woodlands, prairies, and rivers. We see time and again uh, people in communities when they have access to green spaces and recreational activities, uh, their stress levels go down, they feel more connected to a space, they feel more proud of a space, and uh, it becomes an expansion of their home. The public can find about all the things we have going on in River Park and at River Lab by going to the Park District website and search for River Lab.